Good morning this Monday, the 24th of October. I'm Grady Wolf, a market analyst with Bell Direct. Well, the local market ended Friday's session 0.8% lower, with every sector aside from energy stocks closing in negative territory. On Friday, investor sentiment was dampened by fears of a global recession, but the energy sector offset some of the sharp losses, buoyed by strong gains for coal miners. Telex Pharmaceuticals led the ASX 200 winners on Friday after ending the session up 12.67%. New Hope Corporation rallied 7.7% to end the week, and Perseus Mining lifted 5 0.85%. On the other end of the market, Home Consortium fell 5.45% on Friday, Origin Energy dropped 4.35% and Kelsian Group fell 4.18%. The most traded stocks by Bell Direct clients on Friday were Woodside, Grange Resources and Northern Star Resources. Over in the US, the ongoing swings between positive and negative investor sentiment shifted positive again on Friday after San Francisco Fed leader Mary Daly said that at some point rate rises would moderate, though it's not yet time to step down from large hikes, which fueled a rally on Wall Street. The Dow Jones Industrials Index added 2%, the S&P 500 also jumped 2%, and the tech-heavy Nasdaq rose 1.7%. Earnings reports continue to be released in the US, with Exxon Mobile shares hit an intraday record high on Friday ahead of the company's earnings reports out this week, with some market analysts deeming the outlook for the company as attractive, particularly for generalists needing energy exposure. In Europe on Friday, the stock's 600 fell amid rising concerns that major central banks around the world would retain their aggressive stance on inflation with dismal earnings updates from a number of companies. European markets were also impacted by turbulence on the UK's political front, in addition to European leaders continuing a debate on how to tackle the bloc's energy crisis after Germany gave the green light for discussions around a price cap. Germany's DAX closed Friday's session 0.3% lower, the French CAC lost 0.85% and the UK, in the UK the FTSE 100 rose 0.37%, extending the rally from Thursday on the news of the resignation of new British Prime Minister Liz Truss. Ahead of the local trading session, the SPY futures are anticipating the ASX to open 1.42% higher on the back of that rally in the US that ended the week higher last week. On the economic data front today, investors will be awaiting the release of China's Q3 GDP growth rate data, which is out today, with the market expecting an increase to 3.4% in Q3 from a rise of 0.4% in Q2. Taking a look at commodities to start the week, Brent crude oil is trading 1.22% higher at 93.5 US dollars a barrel this morning. Gold is trading 1.81% higher at 1657 US dollars an ounce, and iron ore is up 0.53% at 94.5 US dollars a ton. The Aussie dollar is trading slightly stronger this morning with one Aussie dollar buying 64 US cents, 56.41 British pence, 94.17 Japanese yen and one New Zealand dollar and 11 cents. And now let's dive into some trading ideas for your consideration this Monday. Trading Central has identified a bullish signal on areas resources following the formation of a pattern over a 29 day period, which is roughly the same amount of time the share price may rise from the close of 42 cents to the range of 52 to 54 cents, according to standard principles of technical analysis. Trading Central has also identified a bearish signal on Helios following the formation of a pattern over roughly a 17-day period, which is at roughly the same amount of time the share price may fall from the close of $3.19 to the range of $2.98 to $3.02, according to standard principles of technical analysis. That's all for this morning. I'm Grady Wolf with Bell Direct. Have a wonderful trading day and happy investing.